Hey guys, Nathan here. Uh, before we start the main topic of this video, I just want to quickly say the footage you're seeing is me doing a Wi-Fi battle using some legendaries. Uh, it's actually a really great gameplay to record. I personally think it was pretty good, uh, but that's just me. Um, but I'm probably also going to upload this as a separate Wi-Fi battle just for people who only like watching them, just so they can see it. Um, but that's just something else. I thought I'd put it on in the background. And I just wanted to talk about something uh, different today, which has been on my mind for a while, and I think I'm finally ready to make a video on it. Uh, and I would love to see some feedback from you guys after this video is over. So this video is concerning uh, funding for a modded 3DS. Um, and I want to tell you why, so please bear with me, don't just assume stuff, that's all I ask. So basically, if you didn't know already, there's only one way you can record your 3DS, you know, directly to get the, you know, the obviously the best quality. And that's by buying a modded 3DS. You know, things like Xbox, you have these, you know, for Xbox, if you wanted to record that, you'd buy a capture card, but there's alternatives, you can get cheaper ones, you can do different routines, and to still record your main screen. But with the 3DS, there's no actual, like, video output, so there's only, there's only one way, and it's not even, like, a legal way, technically. You basically have to send away, to, 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 sorry, to specific people, because not many people actually do this, uh, and they can basically attach or mod your DS with a capture card, which allows you to record up to your PC. Um, and so as you can see, to say there's only one way, and it's basically rare in terms of how you actually do this, um, it's ridiculous. And the, th the main thing about this is it's very expensive. You know, I think it's around, uh, it's probably changed now, but it's around, if my, if my logic seems correct, around £300. And that may not seem like much for what you're getting, but to say that, you know, I will, I've obviously already got a 3DS. The fact that I have to pay double the amount, essentially, just to be able to record is absurd. Um, so that's why I wanted to make this video about possibly funding for it. Because, you know, it's, I really want to strive to get better quality videos, and I think it's definitely a high motivational factor knowing that every time I record a video, it's in the high quality, so it's a lot more enjoyable for you guys to watch. You know, like, I'm the same, like, when I'm watching a video used recording from a phone, I'm like, oh, God, that really kind of lowers me a bit if I want to watch it or not. And yet I do that every day now in my videos, but that's why I really want to start, you know, hopefully starting to get some funds for that. I'm not trying to sound greedy, and I'm really not, because, personally, I have the money for it, but it's more the fact that, you know, I've just bought a car and things like that, and if I bought it, I'd literally have no money left, and I need that, uh, you know, if, if I ever go to, like, because, you know, I'm not saying university's still a year away, but I've got to start saving it more, and it's more of a waste just to spend that much money just on this feature if it doesn't work out for me. It's quite a gamble. But that's when you guys come in. So I just wanted to talk about three ways which, you know, would really, basically, you could help me reach this goal. So number one is probably the most obvious, and it's basically setting up a donation port, if you will. Basically, I'll probably make up an account, and every link, uh, every every video in the description there'll be a link to it. And basically, it's free to whatever you guys want to donate. If you ever feel like donating, maybe just anything little from a pound. I'm not sure what the limit is, but a pound to five pound to whatever. You know, whatever you feel. If you really feel like you want to donate, that's the most easiest way because it goes directly to me. And any money that is donated would be f directly for that cause of buying the 3DS. I wouldn't just spend it. it. All that money would be going a certain port. I'd make you know a tally of it, and then when I had that amount ready. Even if I'm maybe like close to it, I'd probably then invest some of my own money into it, obviously, and buy the 3DS. So, donation is probably the most easiest way to achieve it and fastest way. Um, but obviously, I understand some people don't like donating, some people think it's greedy, some people can't donate because maybe they don't have the spare money. There's loads of reasons, and I understand that. And the thing is, I don't. The main thing I'm trying to stress is I'm not literally asking for your money, guys. But it's just the easiest way. And I know, you know if you basically if you support my channel and you know you. you, you for that reason then yeah it's a great thing to do and I'd greatly greatly appreciate it you know and you know it'd be amazing but that's the main way of how it would happen so number two these are more smaller ways but this do they do make a difference number two is basically just make sure you watch my videos and share them with your friends because if you didn't know already again um, YouTube obviously have a feature called monetization and basically every video upload you have the option to monetize which basically you, you basically give access to Google or YouTube to basically display ads and you probably, you've obviously seen ads unless you have ad blocks such as the five second ads, maybe the little banner that pops up, loads of different variations. And basically the more, and I think it's like every thousand views or something, I can't remember, the more views you watch your videos, when you monetize, the more maybe ad revenue you get. And that's how obviously YouTubers, uh, especially famous YouTubers, get their income. That's why they do it as a full time job because it works. Um, but basically, in the long run, as I said, if you guys just watch my videos because you enjoy them and you share them with your friends, obviously, in the long, long run, this would go up more. And obviously, I'm not expecting all my money to come from this because, you know, obviously, most YouTubers don't like displaying how much money they have. But I'll be honest because, obviously, I'm only a small new channel. I think out of all the videos I've done so far and in terms of the views and the viewers watched, I think I've earned around something around 80p. 
So when you think of, yeah, I think if you go on my channel, it shows how many views I've had in total. I really actually can't remember. I think it's just over a thousand. For about a thousand views, I've got about 80p. So obviously, you can see if you do that in the lot, if you're if you're a big YouTuber, that actually racks up a lot. But in terms of a small YouTuber, you know, it isn't that much in terms of it. But I just thought I'd say it just so you guys know. But what I'm trying to stress is that again, by just enjoying my videos, supporting them, sharing them with your friends, you know, basically increasing my fan base, my community base around my channel, you know, it will work in the long run. But obviously, I'd rather have it in the short run. But you know, it as it all depends on how it well it runs. I guess they're the two main kind of things really of how I could fund for it. Like I said, donations is obviously the most easiest thing, but I've said all the reasons why it can be uh, annoying for some people, and, I, and I, I obviously understand that. But I thought I will make I will make like a donation kind of link thing, and if you guys just ever feel like donating or you just want to donate, it will always be there for you. And you know, obviously, I will appreciate it. Depending, I haven't actually researched it properly, but let's just say I could see who donated exactly. I'd probably give them shout outs in the video, just saying you know every time I start a video, saying thank you for that, just so you guys know, or maybe in the description of each video, I'll just maybe put that. You know, I don't know yet, but basically, you know, it is much appreciated if you do do that, because you know it really would improve the quality and motivation for me to make videos. Because when I record on my phone, it's so much like I just sometimes cringe because it's like you know it's like oh, I, I even, even I wouldn't like watching my own video, you know, when I know that it's on that quality, but that's why. Eventually, if I could get the 3DS modded it, uh, with the capture card, it would be great, and like, the content and the quality would really improve. But I just wanted to make this video. I probably talk way too fast and stuff, and I'm sorry. I hate doing that, but I think I've made all the points, and I hope some of you guys will climb on board. You know, if you don't, that's understandable. And yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was a bit of a not an eye. Well, I don't know what I'm saying anymore. I always blink out near the end, but I basically just hope you understood the message I was trying. That that I'm not greedy and asking for your money. It's more of the fact that it would really be a great help and you know and together me and you you know it really would uh, make this channel a lot better um, so thank you so much for watching guys you know and I'll see you guys in the next video thank you